Why is he allowed on the table? Because this is not a real table. Este video va a ser en español completamente. <laughs> sí, claro. Hello, mis amigos, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, este video va a ser completamente en español. Porque vamos a comer cosas de no solamente España. Well, that was only una broma. Obviously, I won't leave you guys hanging. And this video won't be in Spanish entirely. Also because I couldn't get stuff from Spain only or from Spanish-speaking countries only. Therefore, we gotta make it in English after all. I'm hungry right now and I'm always craving new foods, new snacks, new things to try. That's why for this week, I wanted to try new treats and snacks from a country that I don't really know much about or whose treats and snacks I don't know much about. So the next country on my agenda was gonna be a Latin American country. However, it's pretty hard to get stuff from Latin America in Germany. That's why I thought maybe treats from a European country would be easier to get in Germany. So I went to a Spanish supermarket. It was more so a tiny little store even though it looked massive basically on the internet and I expected so much. I couldn't really find that much. So really now we're gonna do a side summary of 10,000 countries, treats and snacks, and we're gonna travel from Spain to Portugal even to Brazil, and then I think we've got some stuff from Mexico and Colombia, I think. I don't even know. I really went into the shop not really knowing what I'm searching for. Like, I knew some stuff, but I did not know what a treat section in, let's say, Spain looks like, for example. So I don't really know what's good. Even though Christmas is over now, I think we should go with something that I definitely have heard of, namely the turron. I mean, it's obviously made of almonds and sugar, and that's probably it. I mean, I guess it's just gonna be super sweet. Sometimes super sweet stuff is great. I'm not really into super sweet stuff, though. No? <laughs> oh, it's this massive chunk. Oh, damn, I thought it was gonna be tiny little pieces. All right, that's cool. Great, I love that. Hmm, that really smells very Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are little wafers around it as well. No, I can't bite into this. I could never. <laughs> but can you even cut this? This looks hard and sturdy. This is gonna be really chewy, isn't it? Oh, it's hard as fuck. Wait, are you breaking this off? I don't even know. Oh my god. Hang on, what is this? <laughs> what is this made of? Am I supposed... Are you sure that I'm supposed to eat this? I don't even know if I've got the proper one because there were many options of this turon, pero, pero, I think this is the original one. Oh, got it. <laughs> Can you see all these almendras in there? All these almonds in there? This should be pretty easy to make yourself, right? But does anyone do that, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Hmm. It kind of just tastes like old roasted almonds. Hmm? I mean, it's not too bad, but I don't think I was missing out. <laughs> I was actually expecting it to be way sweeter than it is now, which I'm happy about. But I just don't understand. Why is it so hard? This is a brick, honestly. <coughs> um, mm. I don't know what happened there. I feel like it was kind of the break's fault, but as I'm gonna finish all of this, all of the fucking this, this is so much. All right, Spain, great stuff. Is it supposed to be this hard? Because this was hard. I don't know if my point came across yet, but this is hard. It's average out of 10. Whatever you wanna call average it is. It's nice. I don't know. Don't judge me. I don't know. Let's move on to the next thing from Spain. Something you can never go wrong with in terms of sweets and treats and whatnot are chips, obviously. And these ones pretty much look like the ones I tried in the video in which I tried Italian stuff. I really love them because I love Italian chips. And again, these ones look pretty similar, so I'm excited to try these because they can only be good, I think. Little Spanish study session. 
chips or crisps in Spanish is patatas fritas or papas fritas. I hope they're a little bit salted as well. What does it say? Un sabor de ensueño. Well, they're really selling this, claiming this to be the best experience of my life and I hope it actually will be. I hate this experience. Ah. They survived the sniff test. They look pretty good. They look great. They look like everything I want a chip to look like. I should probably try some more. These are good. You are really good. I wish they had a little bit more salt on them. They were not joking about their experiencia única, their unique experience. Now I'm really craving something more savory again, and I feel like I don't really have any savory stuff left, except for one thing. So I guess I really gotta go for that one thing. And the one thing I've got is something that I was actually kind of happy to find, because I saw people eating this in a TV show that I watched, I think it was on Vida. They ate their tacos with a ranchero, ranchero. If I remember correctly, they were judging the people that chose the green one over the red one because they liked it really spicy, but because I'm a pussy when it comes to spicy food, I went with the green one. I guess I'm just gonna try it with my patatas fritas and hope that it's gonna be great. Oh, it's not even an accent. I thought, see, I pronounced it so weirdly because I thought there was an accent on the last O, but there is no accent on it. That is not great packaging. I was like, why would she pronounce it ranchero? <laughs> Spicy? Oh, 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 oh. Do you only eat this with tacos or what do you eat this with? Oh, it kind of smells weird. Where's this from? I think this is Mexico, right? Oh, there are so many. <laughs> that is really weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Huh? I don't know if I like, wait. What? <laughs> wait, I... <laughs> wait. Um, what is in there? I'm, I'm kind of disgusted by it, but also it's really good, I think. But I'm not sure because I don't know, somehow I can't stop laughing. <laughs> no, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> it's kind of sour and salty and so sweet and then it also has this weird bottle saucy flavor. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me either. What is in there? Maybe I gotta try it with tacos at some point. This is absolute confusion to me. I'm weirdly disgusted but also so intrigued by it. So this is a... I don't even know out of 10. I just gotta quickly. Actually, I've got something to drink as well. I'll go fetch that real quick, okay? Mm, whatever. So next up, I've got cas limon. I guess it's a lemonade. I don't know if that's a thing, wherever this is from. It says origin Spain. So I guess it's from Spain. I don't know if it's common there, but it says desde 1956, so since 1956. So that's cool. Cheers, mates. This one's for you. Uh, 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 uh. This tastes like dish soap. Uh, <laughs> I'm confused. I love how sour it is, but the dish soap flavor? That is a dish no out of 10. Let's drink something else, shall we? So in my Italian video, I drank the zucco di frutta, which is basically just a juice. And then in the store that I was in, I found this. Maybe it's pretty similar to the one I drink or love from Italy. It's a mango flavor, so that's pretty interesting, I think. And it's from Colombia. <sighs> mm -hmm. This is a very different. Bitter. Interesting. It doesn't taste like mango at all. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, this is a pretty good rating out of 10. Partly also because I saw the actors or the characters in Bida eat this all the time, I bought some 
flan. <laughs> I'm gonna have to mix this with milk. I'm gonna try this tomorrow and I'm gonna... You won't even notice. I'll just look a bit different when I do it. So future Vincent, how'd you like it? Thank you so much, past Vincent. It's time to make some flan. Royal <laughs> flan. I hope you're as ready as I am. Chili is excited. Basically, it'll take me seven minutes to heat up a liter of milk with the powder that is in this package. This powder has to dissolve and it'll have to boil. I'll just have to stir it in between. And afterwards, we're just gonna put it into little, I don't even know, glasses, which we don't have. Either way, before we pour it into these glasses or whatever I'm gonna pour it into, I haven't figured that out yet, we have to <laughs> put this beautiful liquid caramel in there. This just looks like amazingness. One liter of milk. Now let's pour in this mixture. Whisk it. <gasps> I have to pour in the caramel in here. Mmm. Does this taste good? We've got our beautiful caramel in here. That looks like death. Why won't you boil? Okay, it's boiling. All right, I'm gonna have to pop these in the fridge for up to three hours now, so see you then. All right, guys, it's dark outside, which can only mean one thing. A flan must be done now. It looks nice, great, amazing. <laughs> wow. Now, if this doesn't look appetizing, then I don't know what does. Guys, our flan is really droopy. It keeps falling. <laughs> Buen provecho. Tastes quite good. Kind of watery. How? Wait, I can suck it in. The taste is like okay, but I like the consistency, and you know me. I like food when I like the consistency. This caramel is not it. Yeah, true. Yeah, great consistency out of 10. Funny consistency. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I found another more savory thing to eat. I have no idea where this is from. I mean, it's made in Valencia. The reason I got it really was because it told me that it loved me. It literally says, I love you, te quiero. And it wants me to be happy. And that's really why I got it. I guess it's just roasted sweet corn. Yeah, I'm excited for it to be amazing. I'm just really happy that someone finally tells me they love me. And if I have to buy that thing for it to tell me that it loves me, then, well, so be it. It wasn't too expensive. Sometimes you can buy love. This is the perfect example. Hang on, let me try first. <gasps> oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> this does not smell good. Uh, no, no, no. This smells like a cat just did a poo poo in the tie tie. Oh, oh, huh? ah. The first two ones were really great, and then it went downhill from there. It loves me, so I love it. I'm just gonna pretend that the actual flavor is like the first ones that I've tried. So this is really good. I would buy again out of 10. Let's go to Brazil, right? I saw this and I felt like I had to get this. This is a selection of, I think, hard candy. Mas de 16 bombones. Why is that Spanish? Oh, there we go. It's Portuguese here. It just looked really inviting. And also there's something with coconut in there and I love coconut, so. Party party. Wait, why is this Spanish? Wait, this is not hard candy. This looks like praline. <gasps> this one's open. A esta nueva delicia le hacía falta un hombre que fue inspirado en la joven pareja formada por Úrsula y Hugo. Serenata de amor. Hopefully it will conquer my heart as well. I wanna try the coconut one. I love coconut. Is this just gonna be like a bounty? I don't know. Do you have bounty in other countries? Yes. 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 It's a yes for me. It's a yes for me. I say yes and you say yes. We all say yes, yes, yes. This also looks really interesting. This is baton cream. Now it's Portuguese, so I don't really know what it says. Is it just milk chocolate in a roll? Oh. Hmm? Oh, this tastes old. Um, this looks like the most typical one. The serenata de amor. Aha, uh -huh, it's this huge fat chocolate block. Mm. Oh. It's chocolate, wafer, and a very sugary moss. 
So if someone used this to serenade me, I don't think I'd feel a lot of amor. This has a fun made out of bananas. I gotta try this. Ugh. Mm. Actually, it's not too bad. Alrighty guys, we've come to the last two things that I want to try. Buckle up, because we're about to fly to Latin America again. I've got some dulce de leche. Can you believe that I've never tried dulce de leche? Obviously, it's probably better if it's homemade. But I found this, I knew that I never had it, and I knew that I definitely always wanted to have it. So... I'm just gonna eat it off of a spoon, which I assume you're also doing at home. Don't lie to me! So for all of you who don't know, it's a milk caramel spread. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> this is good. Oh, damn. Get this away from me. Oh, this is so sweet, but so good. And if this dulce de leche out of a glass is so good, then I can't even imagine how amazing homemade dulce de leche must be. This is by far my favorite today. One more thing I want to try. Remember how in the background of one of my videos, Naomi made horchata herself? I just kind of wanted to put her horchata making to the test and I bought a bottled horchata. It's one liter, but you essentially get five liters of horchata out of this because you're supposed to mix one part of this mixture with five parts of water. This smells like a candle. So for those of you who don't know, horchata is basically rice milk with cinnamon. Oh, it's very thick. I assume you guys will tell me that this is not great horchata, won't you? I like Naomi's better. This is interesting out of 10. Oh, guys, I'm so done. I'm so full. I feel sick. I know we all know that I have a clear favorite and it's definitely... This dulce de leche. I'm pretty happy. You're doing great. All of the countries that I've tried something from. You could lessen the sugar and everything. The sweeteners. You're not Ariana Grande. Also, we all know that that wasn't her best album anyway, so... I don't know. If you want me to try more, then let me know which country you're from and what I should definitely try, and I will try and get it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, eating with me. I hope you ate something as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you know that I really appreciate you guys. Y entonces, nos vemos la próxima vez. Bye!